if you do SEO research, you're looking to find emerging trends, trends before they happen, long tail keywords, keyword trajectory and forecasting, or just to make SEO research super, super easy, then you have to look into one of my favorite softwares called Glimpse, which in my opinion is the best SEO keyword research tool out there. And I'm going to jump into a full tutorial of it right now. The first thing that you want to do is to create a free Glimpse account, and I'll put the link to Glimpse right below this video. Once you do create your free account, you can go ahead and click open Glimpse here. Now it's going to take you to Google Trends essentially. And what Glimpse does is it actually integrates into Google Trends and lays on top of Google Trends. So we can type in the keyword that we want to do research on here. For this example, I'm going to use a popular influencer marketing platform called Mavely. So I type in Mavely and then I click search. Now you'll see here that it does give me kind of a standard Google Trends dashboard but there's some differences and some enhancements that the Google Chrome extension gives us. So if we compare this dashboard here to the normal Google Analytics dashboard, you'll see that it's missing quite a few things when you compare it to the Glimpse dashboard here. So I'm gonna go over all the different ones here and show you how to use the Glimpse software. So the first thing that it shows you here is the search volume, you can see that some additional information here on the trajectory over the past year or the past month. You can set up alerts or forecasting if you have the upgraded version of Glimpse. You can open this in a Google spreadsheet, or if you click on this button here, it gives you options to download it or even to share it. It will even show the trajectory and seasonality of this particular keyword. So you can see that it's very popular in April and May and June, but maybe not so popular in September, October, and November. If you scroll down here, it will show you your long tail keywords. So we type in Mavely, what are the other search terms associated with that particular search term? What are the long tail keywords associated with the shorter tail keyword? We'll also show you the particular questions that people are asking about that keyword. And then you can categorize by channel. So if you wanna look on Amazon or YouTube or TikTok on how people are searching, you can do that through the channel setting. If you are on Google, then you can also search by search volume, keyword difficulty, competition, growth, CPC cost, and alphabetical. And then if you want to download this information, you can click download CSV. And you can see here it downloaded an entire list of all of those long tail keywords. So then I could just plug that into my automated blog post writer or use this to write articles or use this to optimize my website if I was trying to rank for this particular keyword. Again, we'll continue to scroll down and we'll show you what channels that particular search term is most popular on. It will show you the regions that it's most popular on. And then it will show you some related queries here, some breakout queries. You could do the top ones or you could do rising. And these, what related queries are, are in the breakout ones, are things that are experiencing a sudden surge in search volume, essentially, uh, a sudden surge in searches. It will also show you related topics here. And again, you can come here and you can download all of this just by clicking on the three dots, okay? So this doesn't have enough data to do some of the other projections. So I'm gonna type in a larger and more macro keyword and then I'll show you all the different features that it has. So let's, let's type in keto because that's a very popular term, right? Keto. So we'll look into the keto keyword and you can see that over the past five years, it has been decreasing. If we go out to, you know, since 20... Since 2004, you can see that the keyword over time has kind of spiked in 2019 and then has gone down over time. If we scroll down here, we can see the search volume on the long tail keywords, which ones are the most popular. We can find the keyword difficulty, competition, growth of particular ones. So keto drops seem to be increasing very recently. Are keto drops legit? Keto Genesis, keto ACV gummies. So these keto gummies, we, you know, if we're doing SEO keyword research or we're trying to rank for particular keywords, it's good to target these kind of new and emerging ones because a lot of times there's high search volume, but because they're new, not a lot of people are creating content. And so it's much easier to rank for that particular keyword. And that's really one of the biggest advantages of Glimpse is that you can get that type of information. And then you can even download it or put it into a Google spreadsheet. We'll also show you, like I said, the questions and the attributes of that as well. Okay. So keto for, keto with, and then keto without. So these are kind of what do people search along with it. Down here, we'll show you related trends. So macro friendly, kidney friendly, no sodium. You can see there's upwards to 192 related trends. We can click on that and we can see all the related trends here. It will also show us what channels that keyword is most popular on. And then it gives us this here, which I really like to look at, which is they call it a topic map. 
And this essentially shows us the keyword size related to other keywords. So keto has a lot of search volume and low carb does too, but it has less than keto. Same with paleo, right? Keto has a lot of searches. Paleo has a lot of searches too, but not as much as keto, but more than no carb. So this is a good idea to understand kind of related keywords and related keyword size visually. And then you can come down here and again, you can look at the breakout one. So keto ACV gummies, that is a breakout one all these other breakouts, and then even related topics here. So there's a lot that can be done with Glimpse. There is also, you can come here to discover trends and you can look up trends in any particular industry that you're in. You can set up tracking for your particular keywords. So if you want to track keywords or track, you can also set up tracking. So if you have the upgraded version of Glimpse, then you can track particular keywords and find when ones are trending or find breakout terms or find anything kind of related with all the different clips options here. So that's just a super short overview of the Glimpse software. If you are interested in unlocking all of the different tools within Glimpse, you can click on upgrade here and check out their different pricing plans. If you do keyword research or if you do SEO full time, man, this is such an amazing and powerful tool. But for most people who don't do this professionally, the free version of Glimpse will be good enough. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to continue to do more demos for Glimpse. I'm actually going to show you how to connect the Glimpse with an auto blog poster so you can automatically post SEO optimized blogs on these emerging, trending, or long tail keywords. I'll make that in another video. So make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.